water pump's leaking on the Grand Prix. So I'm going to take you step by step through how to do this. This is going to be a short video because I'm not going to record every step. Um, first, you're going to want to loosen these two 10 millimeter bolts or nuts there. You've got a 13 millimeter that's right here. You're going to remove all of this up out of here. There's a clamp. You can see I've already taken the hose clamp loose right there. Straight slot screwdriver. And you're going to disconnect this from here and lift this straight up. Um, that'll take that out, give you some room to work with. This right here is the same thing. You're going to lift this up and kind of slide it over to the side to, to work with it. Um, then we're going to be able to get access to the water pump, which you may or may not be able to see is way down there. Um, this is a supercharged model, so we do have to take both belts off. 15 millimeter long wrench um, on the tensioner pulley right here. And the other one I will try to get a better shot of once I get that tank out of there. Here's your tensioner pulley for that belt, and again your tensioner pulley for this belt. This one right here, I'm going to take and push down like that, and the one over here, you're going to okay, yeah, it's moving. So, yeah, you're going to push to the left on this one, and then you're going to push to the right on that one. Alright, so I did take the, this and then these two bolts out here, the 13s, to take this bracket out that brace out so I could get some more room to move this up out of the way. Uh, now, next step, we're gonna crack this lid here. Mm, it's already drained out of there again. Um, there's, uh, it's, it's been leaking pretty bad, so it's already drained a lot of the fluid out. Um, I've got an air ratchet. If you don't have one of those, you may wanna loosen these up with the belt still on there. Um, Again, got my air ratchet, so I'm going to do that. The supercharged models have to take this pulley off right here. Um, that's for the supercharger. Um, there is a, yeah, there is a bolt that's on there. But basically, you can't get this bolt right here out with that pulley on it. Um, looks like it's going to be the same size as all the rest of them, so it's a 15 more than likely on this bolt right here. And, uh... Then we've got to take loose the power steering pump. There are two bolts for that. One at the top, and then one more at the bottom there. But yeah, uh, there's one that's right here, and then the one down there at the bottom, you have to line up and find as well. All right, two power steering pump bolts, one in the top, one in the bottom. They're both 13 millimeter. Um, the pulley for this was 15 millimeter. And now that I've got these eight millimeters taken out, there are four on the front of the pulley. Now I've got to take these bolts out. They look like they're tens. Uh, there are some tens up here, and it looks like some thirteens down at the bottom. So, yeah, there's a thirteen there and a thirteen there. Um, looks like two more thirteens on the other side. There's at least at least three tens that I can see. I'm sure there's another one down at the bottom. I'm not sure which one it is, but we'll go ahead and get those broke loose and then, uh, yeah, next next shot should have the water pump off. So there's the old, there's the new. Compare the both of them and then be sure to scrape that surface off. You see how filthy that is? So you use a scrape, uh, scraper. Um, I'm gonna use a razor. You just gotta be real careful not to score up the surface there. Um, but yeah, then we'll put it back together. The process to put it back together is gonna to be exact reverse. So we're gonna put the pump back on, tighten those bolts down. Uh, it's gonna be, I think it's 22 foot pounds for the large 13 millimeters. For the three eighths, it's 11 foot pounds. So there are two little dowels there you see on the left and then the bottom that you can use to put that gasket on before you actually put the pump on. So use those, put the gasket on, put the pump on, and then tighten those bolts down. There we go, got that back on and torqued down. 
but yeah that's back on i'm gonna get the power steering pump back up get that pulley there back on pop my belt back on and then fill it up i'm using the old one to demonstrate but you do have these dimples that are right on here and you do have these little these extra holes that are right here so if you line it up in any of those holes then you should feel it pop into place once you get it right there we go see that's got everything lined up just rotate it around till you feel it kind of snap in and then uh yeah then you can tighten those up on the new water pump when you're ready to fill it up you've got the bleeder screw right there you're going to unscrew or, or the very top of it here fill it up until coolant starts pouring out and then once it pours out then go ahead and, and tighten that up and uh yeah then that will that will get you mostly ready then you're going to start the vehicle up let it run let it warm up turn your hot air on inside and uh then you should start feeling hot air eventually coming out of it and you should also notice that this right here uh, this hose right here should get warm that's your thermostat right there so basically what's going to be happening is when that thermostat opens this pipe or this hose is going to start getting warm that's what you're looking for that lets you know you don't have any air bubbles in there if it does not get warm and your engine starts to get really hot you can crack that that top bolt loose again that'll let any air bubbles out of there but i do appreciate you watching um, i'm going to wrap this up and i hope you have a wonderful day be sure to like and subscribe if you found this uh, helpful thanks so much